Last time I showed you how to add heat waves to your footages. I already talked about shadows in one of my videos, but today I would like to share other exciting options with you. I will continue to edit the last After Effects project. This is the scene with the walking new character. The layer of the GNU was made from a transparent video. The background was created from a static image file. In this first example, I'm going to create a very simple shadow. To do it, I create a new solid layer and then I rename it to shadow and set the color black. Then move this layer right below the new character. We will create an ellipse mask on the solid layer. If you don't find this icon on the toolbar, you can select it by pressing Q on the keyboard. I'm drawing the ellipse under the body of the character. Change the feather settings and the opposite level of the mask. If you don't like the result, we can change the shape and size of the mask. And feel free to increase or decrease the feather parameters. What should we pay attention to when the character moves from one point to another? I will show you. I'm setting the character start and end positions to move the GNU from the middle to the left. You can see that the shadow doesn't move with the GNU. We have to link them as parent and child to move together. To show you the next option of the shadow creation, I'm deleting the solid layer of the ellipse. I will work with effects, so I'm opening the effects and presets panel. Click Ctrl D on the character's layer to duplicate it and then rename the second instance to shadow. Type shadow in the search field of the effects and presets panel and add the radial shadow effect to the shadow layer. Check the shadow only option and reduce the projection distance to zero. Now grab the corner of the layer and resize it like this. To make the lookout more realistic, I'm decreasing the opacity level and increasing the softness of the shadow. The shadow looks better than the one in the first example. In the last example, I will show you how you can give a feeling that the character is walking in the sunny late afternoon. I apply Mesh Warp effect to get this feeling. It's quite easy to create the parameters, so just watch what I'm doing here. Here is the result. The character has a long shadow with the feeling that the sun is close to the horizon. If you like my tutorial, please subscribe my channel to see what other effects I will add to this scene. Thank you for watching me. Bye bye.